House Maiden Daughter. Uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. Mr. Backus? Here. Mr. Brooks? Here. Mr. Brown? Yep. 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 Mr.
Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item D was added uh, between uh, Monday's meeting and tonight. Uh, we're recommending approving Bessie Totten to attend the Reading Recovery Teacher Leader Institute at the Hampton School District on October, I'm sorry, thank you, Hempfield School District on October 10 and 11 um, as required by the Reading Recovery Program. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion passes. Item six, Facilities Transportation Committee, Mr. Johnson, Chairman. Item A, recommend approval of the parent provided transportation agreement as listed. The committee and make a recommendation. Second. Any discussion? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of Beverly Myers as a van driver for R.D. Wyckoff. Committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, seven Finance Committee, Mr. Brown, Chairman. Item A, I recommend approval of the Treasurer's reports as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the disbursements as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item C, recommend approval of the 2017-18 school-based access program billing agreement with IU5. For the reimbursement to the district, the amount of $68,804.02 as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item D, recommend approve the pricing agreement with Kelly Educational Staffing as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E. Recommend approval of the agreement with Interim Health Care of Erie for health care staffing as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Opposed? Motion passes. Item F, EPIC Communications Agreement. Uh, recommend approve the EPIC Communications Agreement for E-Rate Year 23, 2020-2021 as attached. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item G, recommend approval to contract with Heather Reicher for videography and production services as a cost not to exceed $4,000. On behalf of the committee, I make the recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Personnel committee, Mrs. Dean, chairperson. I'd like to have a consent agenda if that's okay. Items A through F. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Send item nine, policy committee, Mr. D. Francesco, chairman. Recommend approval of policies as listed and attached. I move to, to accept the recommendation of the committee. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item 10, School Safety Committee, Mr. Backus, Chairman. Just some information items. Um, we've attached a Crawford County Summit uh, scheduled for October 17th at uh, MASH. Uh, from 6 to 8, it is open to the public. Uh, we have this information posted all around the school and, and have had it up for about six months now. Um, additionally, uh, Pencrest, specifically Maplewood High School, will be hosting 
a family reunification uh, Pima course at uh, on October 30th. This is the second of such presentations throughout the state. Uh, we are also going to be applying for the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency. Uh, we have a meritorious application of $40,000 and can apply for a competitive application up to $450,000. Um, we are working to gather uh, what the need is and we'll talk in the um, safety committee and report back for board approval in October as the grant deadline is November 4th. Crawford County Career and Technology Center, Mr. Johnson, Representative. I wasn't at the meeting, so I have nothing. All right, Intermediate Unit 5 report, Mr. Brooks, do you have any report? Um, they're starting their audit up there at the IU5. They discuss, there's a lot of discuss, discussion on charter school reform. Um, the governor has a proposal out there, the legislature, there's a comment section or comment period. Um, so it was a good time to reach out if you have any thoughts on that. Um, that was it. Thank you. Uh, PSBA legislator report, Mr. Gulick. I have nothing this evening for that. Brings us to new business. Mr. President, I have two motions I'd like to introduce. The first motion will be a resolution <coughs> supporting House Bill 76 and uh, Senate Bill 76. That will be the Property Tax Independent Act. And if it's okay with you, Mr. President, I'd like to read the uh, resolution. Yeah, tell us a little bit. Yeah. Uh, whereas Whereas the Constitution of this Commonwealth demands that the General Assembly provide maintenance and support of a thorough and efficient system of public education to serve the needs of the Commonwealth, and whereas the Constitution of the Commonwealth demands that all taxes are uniform upon, upon the same class of subjects, and whereas school property taxes are not uniform from one property owner to another. And too many residents of school districts are losing or are in the verge of losing their property for the, the lack of revenue to pay their property taxes. And that the high cost of public pensions to local taxpayers will make matters worse. And that the present funding system shows gross inequities with negative results on local taxpayers and the local economy. And property tax are a regressive and an obstacle to local economic growth. Now be result that Pancras School District declares its support of House Bill 76 and the Senate Bill 76 as the school directors seek to enforce the constitutionality of the Commonwealth responsibility to support of a thorough and efficient system of public education to serve the needs of all in the Commonwealth that they request the governor in General Assembly to enact House Bill 76 and, and Senate Bill 76 into a law of the Commonwealth. And we further result that a copy of this resolution be present to Governor Towns Wolf, the Pennsylvania Secretary of Education, the Speaker of the House, and the president pro tempore of the Senate and legislators representing parents in the school district. That's my motion. Second. Is there any discussion on this? If, if anybody has any question about Senate Bill 76, I have it right here. Can I read it, please? Sure. Say, I read through, it's a lot, quite a few pages on it. Yeah, I was going to say. And, um, no, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no. Yeah, go ahead and read it. Senate Bill 76, an act providing for tax levies and information related to taxes, authorizes the imposition of personal income tax or an earned income tax by the school district subject to voter approval, which the way I understand is that this would affect only the residents of the district, the first portion. Providing for, for imposition of and an exclusion from a sales and use tax for stabilization of education funding. For increase to a personal income tax for certain licenses, for hotel occupancy tax, for procedure and administration of the tax. 
for expiration of authority to issue certain debt and for reporting by local government units of debt outstanding. Establishing the Education Stabilization Fund, <coughs> providing for disbursement from the Education Stabilization Fund and for senior citizen property tax rent rebate assistance, and making repeals. That's what, in short, that's what the assent to bill is. So, like I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, I, I will say that I'm, I'm a opponent of finding another way of paying for our uh, kids' education rather than through property tax. But unfortunately, in our government, we add all sorts of crap into a bill. Um, it, it's, just, it's, it's just, from what I gathered, it's so watered down with this and that and this and that. Um, you know, for me, it's it's not a. I mean, although it's got some validity to it, uh, uh, I, won't, I won't say that it does not. Uh, but I just think there's a lot of too much, or there's too much of. of uh, the, I need this, and I need this in order for this bill to work. So for me, it's. And the other thing, the thing I, well, I'm trying to gather on that bill too, the, the personal income tax and sales tax, which that's all. It all sounds great. Trust me, I'd love to lose my property tax, but how is Pencrest going to get the monies properly? Compared, now we're competing with Philadelphia, we're competing with Harrisburg, and the bigger school districts, or the city of Erie, who's what back to be at how many millions of dollars? Uh, I'm for it, but I'd really like to see how the money's going to be dispersed so our. Fifty-three million dollar budget, Brian, roughly. Mm -hmm. That we're still going to get the money's needed, and if there's an increased cost, how are we going to make sure that that's? You know what I mean, Luigi? Yes. I just agree it, with you. It I, takes it out of our I hands, mean, as you know. We can't. Uh, we won't be able to, uh, as a body, like I mean, like right now, you can obviously raise taxes, but we can't. We can't raise uh, sales tax. We can't raise personal tax. That's got to come from. Way higher, than way higher. Than this. So, I, I, although, lower. like I said, although I agree with a, a, a big piece of that, um, I just think that there's too much side stuff, and they just don't have. Right now, they just don't have enough. Um, I mean, other states do it, yeah. and they're yep, very, fairly successful at it, and I think we could do it. But so far, what I've read of this bill, I'm, I haven't gone all the way through. But I should I need more time than this. But there's a lot of questions I have, so. I need to read it. I too would like to see a guarantee that we're going to get sufficient funding. I mean, it all sounds great. It sounds, you know, like I certainly would say, Luigi. At least it's sparking the yes, it's sparking the interest of boards, not just here but everywhere, um, for hopefully that we can get our lawmakers to um, try and put something forth that's got a yes. little more meat to it. A little more, not meat, but a little bit more. Um, for us smaller districts like this, a little more uh, assurance that our money is not going to go to. Right. Are we going to be in the right? Right. Are we going to get what we? And how? If they would just say how we got, well, how we're going to do this? How the school districts are going to comply? That you know, Brian says, hey, here's our budgets, fifty-three million dollars. It's not rocket science to be able to, yeah, to take, say, to oh, take, okay. to take your check. to take a sales right. tax and increase it by two percent and start to, you know starts taxing everything rather than just oh thank right. you you definitely bring enough funding mm -hmm. up to the state to do this. I would just add that there's a couple bills out there to eliminate property taxes. Um, you know this one's been out there for a while. It's not gotten a lot of traction. There's another one out there. That one's got some interesting things to it where you're taxing. Um, senior citizens income and things like that, re retirement income. Right. right. There's a discussion about it. I'm not sure that 76 is better than the other ones. The funding levels for this are concerning just due to um, it's attached to the inflation rate um, and the state increases expenses at a rate higher than what the inflation rate is. So there'd be a lot of moving pieces that don't necessarily tie in directly to this. I think there's a lot of movement right now on getting rid of property taxes. I'm just not sure that Bill 76 versus some of the other bills that are out there. Um, you know that there's 
that much of an advantage for us to endorse 76 over some of the other ones that are out there. If we did them all and just said we want to eliminate property taxes and eliminate it through other means, you know, I would certainly be all for that. But Bill 76 is one of many out there, and I'm not sure the, the difference between any other ones. Um, could I, yeah, I, I, just a, a point of order question, I guess. If a member brings up a motion and it's voted on and voted down, are they permitted to bring that same motion up again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. all right, fine. All right, well, in that case, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, postpone Mr. Well, New Francesco's <laughs> motion indefinitely. That's that's a motion to take. No, it is not under Robert's rules. You're post postpone indefinitely. You can only table if there's something more important on the table. You can postpone indefinitely if you if you choose not to vote on it. I never heard of that. I will say. I'm not sure about that. Look it up. Distribution. No, it's in there. I, I found distribution to school. I found one thing on distribution to schools. Uh, if I can read it real quick. Property Tax Independent Act works to fully fund all Pennsylvania schools. All schools will initially be fully funded at their current levels. Initially. Initially, yeah. <laughs> that, that word's scary. Mm. <laughs> schools will receive their property tax replacement funding directly from the state. The Property Tax Independent Act will fully fund all districts by replacing the property tax dollar, dollar for dollar, at each district's current level. All students in Pennsylvania, regardless of their location, all of their areas economic condition will have the opportunity for equal education. Equity in schools is guaranteed because the state assumes the responsibility of school funding. Each school will receive the resources it needs regardless of the local ability to pay. Regardless of local ability to pay. This solves the funding problems faced by rural, urban, and fast growing districts. The Property Tax Independent Act calls for a dedicated lockbox account for all property tax replacement revenues that is separate from the general fund. All replacement funding for the schools will be dispersed from this account through, through the existing Department of Education funding mechanism, requiring no growth of the current infrastructure. In addition, the Property Tax Independence Act completely eliminates tax inability of local school boards. The only exception would be a possible local EIT or personal income tax for major projects such as school uh, construction and that will be subject to a no exception taxpayer referendum. So it's initially we would be funded but after that it's up to the state well, where they're going to do it. Well, with no, with no well it says that, there, that the, no school would be well, left okay. without Without, without being able to fund it. So it, it's just a matter of... You know, it, it says equity in schools is guaranteed because the state assumes the responsibility of school yeah. funding. So, but that first yeah, sentence, right. all schools will initially be fully yeah. funded. Well, there definitely will be loopholes. I mean, there will be, there'll be stipulations because otherwise contracts for negotiations, you know, yeah. we wouldn't care anymore. You'd be like, yep, whatever, or whatever. It yeah. doesn't matter. So there's got to be, you know, I mean, there'll be some sort of percentage thing. So I just would like to see more of it. Oh, wow, well, there's a lot more. I'm yeah, I know. Reading all this. Yeah, we haven't done this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ted, do you want anything on that? So, yeah, I, I don't believe you postponed it and definitely can't be brought up again because you postponed through this current meeting. I don't think it would be. Well, exactly. Right. You can bring it up again at the next meeting, but postponed it definitely means you can't bring and it up. And it also again. needs a second. Second. I mean, so yes. that's for what, for this? Is that what we're talking about for the... Yeah, the motion to postpone indefinitely needs a second. We've already got a motion on the floor concerning the support of House Bill 76, the Senate Bill 76. The motion to postpone indefinitely is on the floor. I guess my question is, you got a, he read it, you seconded it. You don't want to just send it to a vote? I mean, that's it. No, well, that's the I'm, question. Do you we've already talked about it, and I don't think you've got to. It takes, well, a, it takes a majority to do it. I, I'm not voting until I Did I get a second? Yes. Can you have it? I gave you a second. There's a motion. All right. Well, then we vote. Oh, 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 o
You can't make a motion to as one Read your motion. book. Read your book, Luigi. Come on, guys. What page is that? Well, I don't have a page. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm not you can use an index. I'm not on the book. I'm just looking it up on the internet. I'd be happy to look at your book. I can make a motion to postpone indefinitely, which supersedes your motion. We need to vote on that if it had a second. That's, that's correct. Is that correct, Ken? Yes. Okay, thank you. So it's a motion to postpone until at least next meeting. Right. So it's a roll call on that, and then if it passes, then the motion is postponed. If it doesn't pass, then we vote on the main motion. Okay. Stuart? All right. Did you get a second? Yes, I did. Mr. Dane. I just, I mean, I just, I, 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 you know, I was, like I said, I, I called the roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to read Luigi. I'm not trying to go. Right. I'm not, I I guess. I mean. I don't. Can we do this next month, please? Second, please. Can we just do this next month so I can read this? I can't yeah, control my emotion if that's what you want. I would just well, like a little more time to read it. So I'm just being honest yeah. with Luigi. Okay. I don't want to just say yes, then read it and go, oh, well, it's like 200 pages. Right? Yeah, but I also well, well, I don't really want to say no, I, 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 that I don't agree with, with well, I don't agree with some of the things in there, because I do. I do agree with some of the things I agree with a lot. And so. That'll be, that'll be fine. There's a motion and a second on the floor. I'd like to withdraw my motion. I just don't want to get an argument. I just would like to look this up. I agree with you. I'd like to like use my time to find out about this postponement. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> because yeah, no matter what All right. So you don't have to vote on it. Luigi, are you going to withdraw your motion? Yes, I just did that. All right. So then. You do you want to do the second vote? Okay. Then no. I'll withdraw mine as well. All right. So you had two items? Yes. All right. It's, it's one. <laughs> Number two. It's the same. I'd like to, be, <clears throat> to introduce the following motion, as I stated earlier a, a month ago. I request reimbursement of my personal legal fees that were expended in the execution of my responsibilities and duties as an elected board, school board director and my oath of office as supported by the court order. Respectfully submitted. Second. Discussion. So, what's the discussion? I, I, I mean, said this. Yeah. Yeah. What's the motion again? Pay him back his money. Pay him the thirty thousand three hundred. I request reimbursement of my personal legal fees as submitted that were expanded in the execution of my responsibility and duties. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? It's an elected school board director and my oath of office is supported by the court order. What's the amount? I'll take you a copy of this. Okay. I can't answer that. As far as I know, the amount that that the uh, our junior director requested is about 30,000 bucks. That has been submitted to all school board members. Now, can we discuss it and go to the discussion? Yeah. Anybody was directly involved in No, if okay. anybody wants to discuss, they can do so. Okay. Yeah. I believe that there is a need to go back and explain the history of what this motion is all about and the facts. I truly believe that the information I'm given tonight is to educate and enlighten the facts of the issue. During the May 12, 2016 board meeting, a motion was placed on the floor to deny me an, an elected official to review the invoices of the district solicitor. I believe the motion passed by the majority was written based on false premises. I then decided to have the Court of Common Pleas review the action of the board, which is my duty in accordance to the public school code. On August 31st, 2017, the court decided ordered and supported me to check the invoices as requested in the performance of my duties and responsibilities. The board on November 19, 2017 agreed with the Court of Common Pleas and decided to direct the former superintendent Healy to withdraw the appeal to the Commonwealth Court which the Knox Law Firm had prepared. Please note, my fellow directors, the Knox Law Firm attorney 
did not have a prior approval of authorization by the board to prepare the appeal. Further, on June 14, 2018, the present board, that's, that's right here right now, added an administrative guidelines to policy 616, which describes procedures to follow by any school director when he or she decides to review financial statements, uh, financial documents, including invoices from anybody. This action by the President Board eliminated the possibility that, that another incident to deny the review of invoices or financial documents in general. This, this action demonstrates that the board by unanimous action agrees that any director has the right to review any financial documents before voting. It is safe to conclude that my legal action, which was decided favorably by the Crawford County Court of Common Pleas, is a positive outcome. If the board agrees that I had the right to review any financial documents payment before voting for the approval of payments, then it is not only fair but legal that my action was based on my responsibilities and duties as a board director to perform my duties as sworn and dictated by the oath of office. Hence, my request for reimbursement for my personal legal fees is justified and legal. I bring to the attention of uh, the board directors and taxpayers that directors are not compensated for their time for the board activities. However, directors are reimbursed for expenses incurred for their related expenses of district business. The responsibilities and duties to verify financial documents yes. such as invoices is one of the, the one of them is the administrative guidelines to policy 616 shows. Uh, my dear directors, uh, thank you for listening to my discussion and I await your decision and vote. I have one thing to say. Obviously, this involves my invoices that we're, we've been talking about forever. Um, I can't comment legally as a legal opinion, but I think the board needs a legal opinion before they can vote on this. I agree. I can hear that, sir. I said I believe the board needs a legal opinion um, I, I before agree. they vote on it. Uh, would you agree that I'm being independent? Yeah, he said not him. Yeah, he said not him. Yeah, he said not him. Okay. Yeah. Luigi? Oh, go ahead. I mean, I, I think, and I'm the only, the only thing I want to comment on because it directly involved me at that first time was I'll just reiterate what you had said. Um, everything that we went forward from that point on with all those things was based on uh, legal advice that we had. So, I'm, I certainly will not vote on anything anymore. And still, when, when our attorney says that we need to have a legal opinion, I won't, I won't say anything until we get a legal opinion. Uh, can you elaborate on why we might need a legal opinion? The board has an obligation to spend money on things that are appropriate under the school code. The question is, if a person, if they don't do that, they could be subject to surgery. And I guess the, uh, I don't want to get a lengthy discussion, not tonight especially, so I, I need some time. And I, I do have a couple questions for you, Luigi, but I, I just don't feel this is the uh, appropriate time and place to ask this on and on. So I want to keep this uh, very civil meeting. So if we could table it, I don't table it right here. Can we put this on hold and have a special meeting? To discuss some time items. I'm sorry. I can you hear my I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I no, no. I'll speak up. I can be loud. Trust me. I can be loud. Uh, I personally will not vote on anything to do with this tonight. I would like to ask you a few questions, but I don't think tonight, at this place, is or at this time, is pro uh, the proper time to ask these okay. questions. We have a few things to discuss that you and I had discussed back when I first got on the board. And uh, I have a couple concerns, so I would like to have a special meeting 
and discuss this further, then we can take a vote on it if everybody agrees upon it at that time. But at this, I will not vote on it today. Well, whatever meeting you have, you're going to have, that's, you're that's you're that's have to have another it's attorney. It's up to here. the president who wants to schedule. Oh, no, I'm just giving you my I'm honest, just, I'm being honest with you. I agree. agree. That's, it's okay. I'm, I just asked Dr. Glasspool if he could have an attorney, I mean, review it and, and give us a legal opinion. Good. Do you want to have a special meeting to? Well, I have some questions, yeah. but I don't want to get into it tonight. It's yeah, already 7.30. Okay. Uh, people would like to get going. I'd like to get going. But I have some questions, and there's a couple of things that I want to remind you of. Okay. That there's a couple of things that I, I really disagree with paying if we do go that way. So there's more to discuss okay. than just saying, yeah. Or no, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't so. know why. I don't know why there's anything to discuss. Okay. Honestly, we well, I mean, this Bob, man, this Bob, man chose. Bob, time on, Bob, stop. This man That's chose why we're going to discuss it later. His own school board and wants his money back. And my vote is no, and I don't care if it's today, That's tomorrow, fine. or next year. That's fine. That's, That's it. Problem. Hey, Luigi. Good for you. Can I? What if we do this? If he contacts the lawyer. Gets you make last pool. Last pool gets us our opinion. We can talk about it in executive session before the October meeting. Okay. We'll put it on the agenda Thursday, and we'll vote, and we'll be done with it. Because honestly, I'm tired of talking about it. I know so I know a lot of people are. I mean, I so agree with you, Mr. so President. if if well, that's all right with you, we'll so. just have Dr. Glasspool come up with an independent attorney not Knox not Ted's office not you know anybody we've used before just give us an opinion I would say you go out completely outside Ted? this yeah. this this said right Crawford County and I meant the motion to yeah, you go to Pittsburgh to you go to Buffalo, the, Cleveland to wait till the it, 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 if you withdraw your motion it sounds like the thing's going to take a life of its own there's going to be a legal opinion once that opinion is is gathered you're also assuming I can get it in 30 days. I was going to say this could I'm be. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like I, and that I mean, gives time, time for you to ask. Well, I'm person. saying if he can't get legal opinion, it may be November. Is what I said. I'm just letting you know because we have to have legal opinion. I mean, I'm All I'm saying, I, I, Luigi, is as soon as we get a legal opinion, I'll put it on the agenda and we will vote on it and we'll put it to bed one way or another. I mean, if if that's okay with you, I mean. As long as we are authorizing him to get us a legal opinion, we'll go that route. We should be able to get an opinion by the next meeting, right? Well, that's, I, it depends on what. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I, you know, I'm already. I'm not trying to. Is, hey, you know, Luigi, this, this is one that you, you I, contact. And this find this is a one lot of good remember school law we, firms. I mean, I'm going to grab a school law firm either out of right. Pittsburgh or Levin out of uh, in the eastern part of the state. Fine. Not I just one, want to say not one that I have an association with. Right. All right. I just want to say right now we do have a lot going on in the next month. Mr. Glasspool does, or Dr. Glasspool. So he's very busy too. So I'm just saying it may take. It might take a long time. That's what you're saying. Yes, that's what I mean. I'm not trying to put you off. Okay. But we have kids that are. I'm sorry, they're way more important than this right now. Are you all right with that? That's fine. Thank you. We do have a, an agreement and uh, yeah. yes. every, every, everything possible is going to be done. Yes. We're going to spend more taxpayer money to see if we can give you taxpayer money. Okay. That's Bob. the agreement. Bob. Stop. You just need to withdraw you because we a motion's on the floor. So I withdraw the motion on the fact that, that the, uh, the board, the majority of the board has agreed to to get an legal opinion as recommended by the uh, solicitor within uh, the next two months. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any more new business? Board remarks. Board remarks. Let's start with Gary. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I hope the kids have a great school year. Teachers have some patience with the computers. They're coming. Uh, parents, please pay attention to your kids. Um, especially your high school kids. I know the PTOs are very active. As soon as your kids seem to hit seventh grade, they still need probably more guidance than do at, at any elementary school. So please um, 
support your kids in every way possible. Fall athletes, please be safe. Have a lot of fun. Make a lot of memories. For homecoming, have fun. Congratulations to the kids who qualify for AP. Yay. Um, I think that is fantastic. It's the highest number coming out of the school district ever. And I hope it's a trend of what's going to continue to come. So have a great school. Uh, I just want to welcome everyone back. And uh, if you have not had the opportunity to see the Maplewood Elementary um, makerspace room, I encourage you to go see it. It is really nice. Um, my daughter loves tech. Right? She, yeah, she's all for it. It's really nice. There's lots of cool things in there. I was playing with some stuff at Open House. So I'd really encourage everyone to, to take a peek at it. I just say welcome back to everybody. Um, you know, I, I, I look forward to fall sports, uh, volleyball, basketball. You know, I say cheerleading if it's what some girls do. It's hard to watch sometimes. But, you know, <laughs> get interested in the games more than that but uh, I thank the administration for all the work we had a lot of stuff coming into the new year and I know that we have some bugs to work out but, uh, I think they're doing a great job That's it. well I'm just gonna say welcome back to everybody uh, I do have a piece of bad news uh, a volunteer at uh, Sagertown Elementary School uh, Karen Brickman. Uh, she volunteered for 10 years, uh, a lot with my wife's class, but all elementary class. She passed suddenly a few weeks ago. Uh, so many teachers in Sacred Town Elementary miss her dearly. And uh, I just want to offer my thoughts and prayers to her family, and she was an awesome person. She's going to be sorely missed. So. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Glasspool, for doing a pretty decent job. I can't say a perfect job because I'm sure you find this problem coming up. I was, I was, uh, I went around to check in the uh, parent today, and and uh, I think it was a very successful thing to do. As a matter of fact, it was so successful they even uh, recruited me to join the Boy Scouts. <laughs> and uh, the other thing I would like to to point out is that yesterday was September 11. And as a former New Yorker, that as far as I'm concerned, that we can, I can never forget the day, especially when I saw the second plane on TV here in the second building. It was a tragedy, and unfortunately, we know it was done not by airplanes, but it was done by people. People with a, an extremist point of view that they had about our society, our way of thinking, and to the point that they even call Americans a bunch of satans. Well, I tell, um, I like to remind those people that Americans stick together when it comes to America and accept the all the people. And I hope that, that will never happen. And if it happens people's going to be sorry, at least with the present present that we have. <clears throat> well, it's a sad story to bet that we lost three, three, over 3,000 Americans. And some of the people in the building that were immigrants too. It's a shame that they, when, when you put a bomb to harm Americans and residents in America, there's no way you can separate your friends or enemies. So let's hope and never to see that again and keep our country safe because we got we owe a lot to this nation. That's it. Very good. We don't agree often, but I agree with that. It's a very somber day yesterday and I still remember when I was a teacher in the fifth grade classroom on that day when that happened. It was just horrendous and horrible and uh, I agree we, we should never have to see that again. But on a lighter note, um, welcome back to all the teachers, kids, support staff, everybody. They seem to be doing a wonderful job so far, as always. Um, all sports teams are well underway. Uh, as Mr. Schellenberger said from Sagertown High School, the golf team and the volleyball team are doing exceptionally well. Um, and I know all the other teams around the, the district are doing well. Um, they're trying very hard. Um, and good luck to them. 
and we'll look forward to hopefully seeing some of those teams in the playoffs. And that's all I have. Thank you. Um, I agree with what everybody said. I don't really have anything to add except <laughs> amazing start to the school year. Um, I know there's a lot of work put in by everybody, and it really showed there's been a lot of positive feedback from parents, from teachers, from the community. And it's just, there's always going to be hiccups, there's always going to be bumps in the road, but it really showed our fall sports were off and running. Um, Maplewood's 3 0 on the year, having a spectacular year, beat West Middlesex last Friday in football. Um, this Friday, they play Cambridge Springs, and that should be a good one um, out at, at the Wood. Sagertown is going to try to pick up their first win Friday out of the pasture of pain in Eisenhower, trying to get their first win out of last 21. Yeah. It's really called the pasture of pain. Is it really? Yes. Eisenhower, it's, it's Maplewood of the North. Um, the cross country teams are out and running. I looked up the standings and I don't really understand cross country enough to say our standings, but great job to everyone that's out there volunteering their time to run. That's not one of my passions, but I'm glad that people are out there running. Um, really? I've, I've run in the past. I did a lot of running in boot camp and that was enough for me. Um, our boys soccer team is is very competitive. Erie Times has them at 0 2 and 1. I know they beat Cash. I don't know if that was a friendly or whatever the soccer terms are. And girls volleyball, again, we're dominant. We are amazing in girls volleyball throughout the district. Our golf team, we got updates on them. And with so much happening in our district, it's difficult to keep up with all of it. And that's why we need everybody to be on board, everyone to be talking to each other. We need princi principals and board members and teachers and parents and students all together getting the word out because we're doing amazing things. Our activity bus is doing great. It's really just starting to get the the wheels rolling. That was a good one. Um, you know, beyond that we've got the RCL, we've got a lot of stuff happening. It's hard to keep up with all of it, but we need more parents involved getting more word out there so everyone can take advantage of it. And to touch a little bit on what Mr. Dietrich Francesco said about 9-11 Today is 9-12. I've seen a lot of things out there where they talk about how great it was on 9-12 where we all came together, where it didn't matter where you were from, who you were, what political party you belonged to, what, how tall or short you were. Everyone came together and we were all Americans. And I think that's one of the things that really is special to me about 9-12 um, you know, is understanding what we can be when we put our minds to it. And I really see that happening a lot here in our district. Thank you. Well said. I'd like to welcome everybody back this year. Uh, I'll keep mine short and sweet. I did have the privilege of watching our two bands, Maplewood and Sacred Town, perform last weekend. Uh, they did an awesome job. It was a tough competition. There was uh, 17 or 18 bands, and some of them were quite huge and very well organized, but our kids have done an awesome job. Looking forward to seeing them compete more. All right, the only thing I have to add is I'd like to thank the parents. Um, I don't know how many of you guys went to open house, but mm -hmm. I've been going to open house for 16 years. And the open house this year, they were all on the same night. I saw more people at, at Cambridge High School than I think I've ever seen there. Um, and it was just nice to see parents being involved and, and getting out and supporting their kids. So I just want to thank the parents for that. And that's all I got. One announcement, the board met in executive session on September 9th and prior to tonight's meeting for personnel, negotiations, and litigation. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.